This project is a joint collaboration between uh, the Rolling Plains Quail Research Ranch and Tarleton State University Wildlife uh, Sustainability and Ecosystem Sciences Department. And the whole goal is to use this as one way of examining whether or not we can use translocation of northern bobwhites as a means of restoring quail back onto uh, their native areas where they have been um, recently extirpated from or where populations are really low. So I was overseeing a bunch of different teams across the state of Texas that were trapping, um, coordinating that effort. Uh, another thing we were doing is we weren't holding any of our wild trap bobwhites for over 24 hours. So as you, as you can imagine, um, it was quite an effort trying to get the birds each day and then bring them back as, you know, in South Texas, I was over seven hours away. Uh, my main focus has been to support John in any aspect of the project as I can, whether that be the, uh, the trapping that we've done with the bobwhite quail or out here doing telemetry work like we're doing today. Uh, so far, uh, this project has taken me to Aspermont, Texas, Ballinger, Texas, Heberville, Texas, and all over uh, the, the west. So currently we've got 116 radio marked bobwhites that we are keeping up to date with uh, every day. So we're going and either establishing if they're alive or dead each day, and then just about every other day we're going and getting GPS locations for every single bird. It's very important to us that we are able to use these opportunities that have this very big goal for the state of Texas and for landowners of bringing quail back onto the landscape. And at the same time though, it is providing this very valuable educational experience to our graduate students and an extremely valuable education to the undergraduates. We did some trapping, trapped all of our 167 birds across Texas. We released them and now our job is to keep track of these birds, um, get GPS points on them, kind of see where they move throughout the ranch. It's good to start with your antenna vertical because that'll help you get reach a farther distance. But as you get closer to your bird, you want to turn it sideways. It'll help you get a better direction on it. So. From all of our methods combined, we can tell that the bird's probably somewhere along that edge there. So what I would usually do is go right to the edge and I'll get my GPS point there. To me, the most gratifying thing has, um, well, it's seeing the quail back out here, but it's also watching my students and how much they've learned and how excited they are to see all this time and effort that they put into this project and to see it become successful. That to me is some of the most valuable stuff.